Some geek out with us on the Rock Nerd Radio Show. Hello and welcome back to the Rock Nerd Radio Show. Uh, trying something just a little different today. I uh, went to Toy Pizza Con over the weekend in Beacon, New York. And uh, I got some cool stuff there. I just wanted to show off the things that I got real quick um, without making it a whole big production like I normally do when I'm showing stuff. So uh, first thing I wanted to show off was Dan Larson from Secret Galaxy was there and I got this wonderful pin. Uh, it is that skull logo with the um, laser tag helmet on and it is nice and shiny and really cool and I would definitely be holding on to that. Uh, always great chat with Dan Larson. I had him on the podcast a, uh, last year and we are talking about potentially getting him on the show again. So that'd be cool to chat with him again. Um, really nice guy, really approachable, uh, and really the, uh, you know, the guy in charge of my favorite, or the face of my favorite YouTube series, um, or YouTube channel. The, uh, the next thing that I got, I got this Horde Trooper that is uh, completely printed in resin. He has magnetic joints, so the arms and legs do pop off and they just kind of snap in place. Only problem with magnetic joints, they don't really, always hold a pose and uh, these resin body parts are a little heavy uh, but this was done by someone who goes on Instagram as DSN1014 and uh, he was telling me that he does print out kind of stuff in that uh what is it super seven or reaction kind of scale um he does resin prints he will custom paint if there's anything that you want he had this sitting on his table and me being a sucker for the horde I, uh, I picked this up because uh, I thought it was kind of neat. Um, it, it is resin, so it is quite heavy, and I, I'm afraid it might be a little delicate, so I'm not going to, like, kind of bounce it around too much. But uh, it's cool for what it is, and, uh, you know, as I said, magnetic joints, so it does move. It, it's kind of just more wibbly-wobbly than anything. But uh, I love the evil horde in terms of uh, He-Man, so this was really cool. I was happy to get this, and uh, as I said, check his workout on Instagram, DSN1014 move him over to the side uh from there we're going to go to this wonderful um somewhat custom made x-men arcade cabinet this is printed out by a guy named dick jones he is on instagram as omni underscore res o-m-n-i underscore r-e-z um he made this really cool x-men arcade cabinet and apparently the cabinet itself is uh something from fortnite but he made these stickers and the panel insert and he kind of painted it up to look like a retro arcade cabinet and i really like this because uh this is i i have the like the uh, what is it called um uh, one up whatever it's called uh the the x-men arcade cabinet in my basement so uh this is my favorite arcade game of all time i thought it'd be cool to have this and to um take some pictures of some x-men characters playing on this arcade machine i thought that would be kind of neat so i like this um really just in terms of toy photography that's what i'm gonna use it for but it is cool and uh, I'm happy to have to have this, uh, you know, holding on to it right now. I will say that Mr. Jones also gave me a uh, sticker cutout sheet in case I ever wanted to make my own custom Ninja Turtles one. So there's something for the screen, uh, you know, the size of the arcade cabinet, and then I guess the uh, the banners up top or, or what goes underneath the uh, controllers. So this is really cool that he gave this to me. Um, it, he, I guess, uh, offers printouts of these. So. You can cut them out. You can sticker them up if you ever get those cabinets. Again, I think he, I think he mentioned something about it coming from Fortnite. I'm not 100% sure um, about the Fortnite stuff, so I can't really speak on certainty where that came from, but I think that's what he was telling me. Uh, next thing that I got, uh, and I've been buying these when I see them at conventions, I got a set. I got not a set. I got two Plunderlings. Um, the Plunderlings guys were there. If you don't know what plunderlings are they're just kind of these fun little pirate goblins uh they come in a box that has a bunch of accessories three different heads per figure um as well as two different hands sometimes just open hands like you see with this little red devil one here and then also ones that can wield weapons uh sometimes they come with multiple weapons sometimes they don't come with as many the hats that some of them have are magnetic so there is a magnet in here and there's a magnet inside the head so it just sits on there quite nicely. I've been picking up plunderlings when I see them at conventions. I started doing this uh, last New York Comic Con. Now I have uh, four or five of them. So, and these these two, I guess, make six. So uh, they're fun, they're neat. They're fun to kind of pose around. This one I thought was really cool because uh, all the ones I have have had this style feet, but this one has like these hooves heat, so he, the hooved feet. So he kind of looks like a little, you know, demon uh, plunderling, but it is pretty cool. Um, and these are neat. Um, they, they're also at the show. The Plunderling guys were showing me that they have 
two new styles of Plunderlings coming out, Plunder Strongs and Plunder Longs. The Plunder Longs are basically uh, taller, slightly lankier versions of Plunderlings, um, I guess expanding their universe. And the Plunder Strongs are larger, like beefed up versions of these little goblins, um, like almost like a hulking type thing. And uh, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to maybe picking up some of them. I know they said they're available on Big Bad Toy Store now, but um, I tend to just pick them up at, uh, at shows. That's like a little treat for me. So next time I see them, which will probably be New York Comic Con, um, I'll probably end up picking up some other stuff. Because I bought two, they also gave me this really cool weapons pack. And you can see that there are different helmets, different swords, wrenches and stuff. So uh, you can kind of, I have different display options for my plunderlings now. All right, and that brings us to one more thing. I did pick up one of the exclusive Knights of the Slice from Toy Pizza. Uh, if this looks like a G.I. Joe bat to you, that's because that's who it's modeled after. This figure is actually called Bat Brother Ron, uh, and he came with a whole bunch of bonus parts, as you can see in this bag. Now, my understanding is that these uh, Knights of the Slice guys are GLaDOS compatible, which means you can kind of pull apart all their joints and stuff and... Uh, put on new pieces so why don't we do just that while I'm talking here so uh, there is a, a weapon that he can hold there is a an additional head sculpt if you want to throw that on then there's also this bag of parts that uh, I'm gonna crack open here and um, it looks to me like there are all kinds of different things there's there's a big old drill there's this other type of arm you can put on so everything just connects relatively easily you just gotta match up the uh, joint or the peg to the hole. And I'm wondering if I'm doing this wrong. It should just go. Hang on, I'm gonna try it again. There we go, all right. So I have this uh, arm drill type thing and there there is a swivel joint here so you can move this around. This looks like it is meant for the, uh, for the left arm. So I'm gonna pull that arm off Put this arm on and now he has a big old drill arm that does look pretty cool uh pretty neat make sure it's pegged in there, there all the way so yeah so i can kind of buff up this character in fact there is another kind of oops, robot arm as you can see that i can plug on that one plugged on a lot easier let's try to get this one back on there we go so now i can kind of have a more buffed up robot bat homage um it is pretty cool and uh you know the, the glados system as i said i've never really messed with it before but uh seeing that you can really change these up to however you want it is neat it is fun and um who doesn't like a good old homage to uh the bats from gi joe um and i i really like this robotic arm here it looks it looks kind of neat and i like you know i i'm i'm very used to having characters look um, symmetrical, but I've, I've kind of been getting more into the look of having like these kind of, I don't wanna say abominations, but characters that tend to look different on either side, you know, they're not the same. Uh, there's also this kind of head too. So if I wanted to swap the head, I could. I can drop this kind of alien looking head on. There we go. And uh, it looks like there's a helmet for him too, so I can put his helmet on if I wanted to. I'm not, am I not doing that the right way? Oh, there we go. Whatever. Um, <laughs> if, if I was going for a deeper kind of look here, I would definitely go through all of it. But uh, this looks cool. I, I like being able to mess around with these little things. Um, you know, this is like your standard, uh, like three and three quarter size kind of action figure, basic articulation. Uh, I did get one more thing for the uh, Bat Brother, and that would be the Bat Brother capsule. And looking at it, you can kind of see here, it kind of does look like a face here. Um, it is a vehicle, so the front opens up, and you can lay your character inside. Um, of course, with the uh, this arm on, he's probably not going to fit. But uh, it is neat. It's fun. You know, if I put the original arm back on, I'll do that real quick. You know, you can lay your character in it. I did see someone online posing it like this, like it's supposed to be something they like they like lay down in. Um, and I guess that works too. So, you know, you can kind of have your character laying down. The seat, that to me looks like a seat. So I was thinking they, they sat in it, something like this, and then they would drive around in it. 
Um, but it's, it's neat. It's fun. I like, uh, you know, being able to mix and match pieces on figures. I think that's pretty cool. And, you know, the one of the big reasons why Toy Pizza Con happens is that it's really meant for independent toy creators. You know, you're not going to necessarily see Hasbro and Mattel products there. It's meant for... You know, people who are designing their own toy lines and uh, just doing it for the love of creating these action figures. So it is really neat stuff. Uh, next year, probably be around the same time in July. So if you are in the Beacon area and want to check out Toy Pizza Con, I highly recommend doing that. I had Jesse, who is in charge of Knights of the Slice and in charge of Toy Pizza Con. He, uh, he was on my show. So if you want to check out the podcast, I will. Uh, there's always a link in the description below. So make sure you check that out. I hope you dug this quick video. And uh, until next time, I've been Dan. You've been pretty awesome. I'll see you around. Come geek out with us on the Rock Nerd Radio Show.